And this is very, very important. Very important indeed. Because this is what they basically do. Take all that crap off, okay? And that's, you agree to it. They send you an offer, they give you the consideration, and you accept it. It's nothing but a contract. That's all it is. You just don't know it is. It's a con. Absolute con. So when they send you this, send it back to them and say, you don't want me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> don't want me. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> My point is this, lawful rebellion is about lawful hindrance. This is what I said to you earlier about non-violence, this is peaceful. It's lawful. Right on that bank note, of what? Send it back out again. Send it back out. You're not doing anything unlawful in the legal world, you're defacing the currency. <laughs> it, is, it is about a legal illusion. Use their own legal illusion against them. Just simply do it. Just use their own illusion. Do this with a smile on your face. Do it peacefully and kindly because the real victims here are the ones who actually believe they are a person. They're the victims. All the bad in the world is caused because of this problem. The person. Everything that goes on in this world is caused by this. If I do this enough and sooner or later, the truth will emerge. And they will have to defend the registration process, the birth certificate, and finally, money. They will have to defend it. <laughs> Everyone will really realise it is an illusion. I am a man. I am not a person. A person is just an affliction of my mind in one world and a piece of paper in another. If I do not want to be controlled, then I don't want to have control over anything. The only way to find true freedom is to sacrifice the person. Thank you. What's a warrant? Have you ever looked into a warrant? A warrant's unlawful in its, its own right. Because basically what it is, it's someone in the legal world saying, I'm giving you the right to break this do person's door down. So basically a warrant is illegal. So you need to explain, it's not illegal, it's unlawful. All it is is that the police officers are getting their backs covered in case anything comes up. Yeah, but they will come and get you. They're going to come and get you. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. <laughs> Simple as that. If you, someone rang me up recently. Someone rang me up recently. They said, "Don't want to pay my TV license." I said, "Yeah, that's fine. How far are you willing to go? Are you willing to go to prison?" No, I said, "Pay it then." <laughs> We're simple, isn't it? Yeah, last time I went to court, I didn't even make it in the courtroom door. So Why? So Why? Why? Because I asked. I stood at the door and I said, "Sir, uh, um, if I..." Uh, Sir, will you allow me to enter this room uh, whilst retaining my full unaliable? Oh, no, 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 they won't let you do that. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> case dismissed. Absolutely, I think. Yeah. Carolyn, we'll do it. Absolutely. I know, well, at the end of the day, Wait, what, what were you in court for? Some of them are up for the aggro. Some of them are up for the aggro and they want to take the fight to the hill. Some people don't. Carolyn's case is a classic refuse to get in the dock, case dismissed. I'm not a criminal, I'm not getting in the dock. Do we know the definition of a crime? Do you know the definition of a crime? It means there has to be harm or loss, or injury. If you go past a speed camera, is there any harm or loss? Corporation can't stand. Absolutely. Definition of a crime, no harm or loss. Yeah. Is that always a good thing? Pardon? Is always a, is always a correct perception of a definition of a well, yeah, because in common law, a crime exists if I've caused you harm or loss. What about yourself? Uh, going maybe too fast for a road, uh, maybe total 
And if you haven't run a child over, what's the problem? Well, luckily you had run a child over. Matt never had because we are No, you're living in a world of society. And you want, you want your world controlled. Sorry, but that's the world of control. When you, I entered into, right, I entered into being a free man on the land. No, I want to explain something. I entered into being a free man on the land. I'm actually going to take that away. I'm a man on the land. I was born free. I don't need to put free in front of my name. I would, I'm a man on the land. Speak, doing this opens up a whole world of our sake, believe me, our sake. And you write letters for the rest of your life. But the second you say that you're free, the second you realise that you are a man, you're not a person, a whole different world opens up. Um, no, 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 let me finish, please. Because one of the biggest things that comes down upon you is that you have to be responsible for your own actions. If you're driving down a road and it's got a speed limit, then if you believe that you're, you're, not, and you're not responsible for your actions and you hit a child and knock it over, then you suffer the fate for doing that. You suffer it. You suffer it internally and you suffer it externally. But you don't need to be told that. It doesn't matter. They still get run over. That's a natural thing. Yeah, absolutely. Fair play. It's funny, you really do. You start to become more responsible for your, your actions. I, 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 when I entered into this, I entered into it, I suppose, what I basically did is, when I went down to Buckingham Palace, I stuck my head over the parapet and said to the archers, come on, have a shot. Because that's basically what I did. I put my head on the chopping block. And people said to me, oh, you're going to end up like Dr. David Kelly. Um, <laughs> um, so I don't walk in woodland. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You are in a lawful rebellion. Yeah, all I did is. That's another way of looking at it. Yeah, I must admit. Here we go, battle of the year, guys. I, I've not got any planned. I would love to come back down here. I'd love to come back down. I really would. Monthly visit here. <laughs> That's new. <laughs> I'd love it. No, I've had, I'll be quite honest with you. This is Would you be up for having more of a debate rather than a talk? Um, no, because I don't argue, sorry. It's not an argument. So. No, no, no. A debate <laughs> is an argument. Oh, I don't want to argue, I just want to talk. Oh, yes, right. you do. Debate is an argument. I don't <laughs> argue. You could you could pose any question you want. Yeah. Whether you get an answer is down to me. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, mate, I missed the first part of your talk because there's any repetition. Sorry. Could you apply this or you, to like getting out of things like mortgages and stuff? Well, it, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, 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 no. You laugh, actually. You laugh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. You're going down a whole different line and it's a very complicated process. There is a group of individuals that we know. Uh, there's another group of individuals who are actually going a different direction and they're the ones who've just had this £300,000 mortgage quash because the contract was proven to be unlawful. It was actually illegally... No, 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 wait. Right. Credit cards, there is something that was discovered a while ago if you took your credit card out before 2007. Yeah, it's 2007. I don't... Consumer credit law that changed in 2007. That's right. That's right. Thank you very much. I don't, I don't deal with statutes, so I, I don't... I'm, I, the, the credit card company want money off of me. I just ask them what's tangible behind the currency. They don't seem to be able to answer me. So, you this, so this, has this been used in order to sort of... Get out of debt. <coughs> yeah, I, I have. I, I haven't paid a debt. It's like 10 years old and never, they will never get it off. And I've had 15 different credit agencies chase me and they sell it off. At the end of the day, off. look, right. At the end of the day, I've, I've got. There is. <laughs> what you got. 
this is not about getting off your debts, okay? If you want to get off your debts, then if, you know, crack on with someone else because I'm not interested. Because the reason being, if it's, if it's proven that, that whatever debt you're in was done by an illegal process, then yes, you're entitled to get off of it. Absolutely. But if you've done, it's like, if I do something wrong or you do something wrong, you deserve to have your collar felt. All I'm saying is you're not going to get justice because there is no justice. John, yes. If you leave the country, if you get your passport, you Well, we, we kind of, uh, no, because I've, I haven't got a passport. I don't bloody want one. Right, okay. You've got one. If you don't want to use your passport, right, if you don't want to use your passport, there is a common law right to travel. And as far as we understand is that if you contact the country you want to go to, they will send you a release form. 